You were helping her dress with a ceremony. Now, did she say anything to you? Nothing, monsieur. Well, I thought she would be here. The Reverend Brooks is very upset. I didn't know what to tell him. Well, what could we say? That the bride disappeared? Well, I did say we would notify him as soon as we learned what had happened. Good. The less he knows, the better. What do you mean? Mr. Dupre? Yes, what is it? Mr. Dupre, I, I just looked in the stable. Mm. Miss Josette's horse is missing. Missing? Mr. Jeremiah's horse is gone, too. <laughs> I don't understand any of this. Was Josette afraid to go through with the ceremony? Yeah, I wish I could give you an answer, but I cannot. And what is this about Jeremiah's horse missing? No, I um, asked Ben to go out to the stable and find out if uh, any of the horses were missing. Surely you don't believe that Jeremiah had anything to do with Josette's disappearance? Oh, I, uh, I do not know. But uh, perhaps someone else had taken his horse, so we'll find out in a moment. Where are you going? I'm going up to uh, Jeremiah's room to see if he's still here in the house. Now listen to me, the both of you. You were to say nothing about what you've seen and heard this evening. Is that understood? Of course, Mr. Barnabas. We will speak to no one. I feel it would be pointless to upset a great many people when there is probably a very simple explanation of everything that happened. We understand. You may go to your rooms now, but don't retire for the night. I may need you. Yes. Josette! Can you hear me, Josette? It's Barnabas! Josette, is that you? Who is it? Who is out here? Speak up, whoever you are! Come out of the oven where I can see you! see you over here Barnabas where I asked you where directly behind you who are you don't you recognize me I cannot see you I am your uncle Jeremiah no. you are not Jeremiah your voice is different your Josette is gone, Barnabas. She has left you because she does not love you. You're lying. Oh, no. It is true. She's in love with me. Stop it. She has left you to marry me. Jeremiah. That's not true. You're not Jeremiah. Who are you? She's made a fool of you. She's deceived you. She has been unfaithful to you. Stop it! Stop it! Barnabas the fool! Barnabas the fool! <laughs> Barnabas! Barnabas, do not shoot! Oh, Mr. Dupre, where did you come from? 
I decided you shouldn't be out here alone. Why did you fire your pistol just a moment ago? I wasn't alone. Who was here? I don't know who it was. But there was someone over there, a man. It was too dark, I couldn't recognize him. And you shot at him? Yes! Why? He tried to tell me he was Jeremiah. And the Dojet had followed him. Well, uh, perhaps uh, you only imagined that you saw someone. No, there was a figure over there, but I know it was not Jeremiah. Well, I, I, I think we ought to go back to the house. You can't see anything out here. It's much too dark. Maybe you're right. Barnabas. Wait. Barnabas. What is it? I hear the voice. Is it you, Josette? The road, Barnabas. Go to the road. What road? Who on earth are you talking to? Can't you hear it? It's a voice. I hear nothing. What road? The road to Collinsport. You will find it there. Find what? You will see. Barnabas. You will see. Barnabas, are, are you sure you're... Feeling quite all right. I feel fine. Come, we're going to the road to Collinport. Why? Well, because the voice told us that there would be something there. What is it? Josette's. Wedding day. I still don't understand how it got out on the road. Nor can I. You suppose that Josette could have been abducted? I, I do not know what to think anymore. Barnabas, is everything all right, Mr. Barnabas? No, Ben, everything isn't all right. Where were you a while ago? I was looking for you. I wanted you to help me search the woods. I'm sorry, sir. I was doing my chores. I forgot to bring in the firewood. You found nothing in the woods, sir? Nothing of any importance. Good night, Ben. Monsieur Barnabas, is there any news of my lady? No, none at all. Barnabas, may I suggest that uh, you go to bed and try to get some rest? I'll go and speak to the others. We can resume the search in the morning. I'd prefer to stay here and wait for her. Oh, very well, as you like. Good night. Barnabas? You really should try and get some rest. After what you've been through tonight. In spite of what I've been through, I still love her. No matter what has happened, or what will happen, I will always love her. Good evening, Countess. You've been to the postal service, I see. More wedding presents for Josette and Barnabas. Well, they shall have to be returned, of course. We know that, don't we? Don't we? I don't know who to give them to. Mrs. Collins and Barnabas are upset enough. 
Would you keep them until... Until Josette and Jeremiah come back? Until we've learned what's happened. Such a strain this has been for you. Excuse me, I, I want to see our Sarahs. Wait. How long ago did you know that Josette and Jeremiah were going to elope? I never knew. Were you the one who arranged the tarot card so that I would know? No, of course not. Oh, don't lie for once. You were alone in the room just long enough. I don't know anything about those cards. You asked me questions about which cards meant what. I told you, I, I'd never touched your cards. You know the future. Admit it. When Josette and Jeremiah come back, life cannot go on as before. Terrible things will happen. Tragic things. Tell me what you know. Nothing. I know nothing. We shall see if that is true, Miss Winters. <gasps> What's the matter, sister? That cat! Scat! Scat! Oh. I think the cat dislikes you as much as you do him. How can you allow that cat in this room? I didn't know he was in here. Surely even you know that that cat is a sign that the devil is laughing at us. You've been talking to the Countess. She told me that yesterday. I don't have to talk to anyone to know how the devil works. No. By this time, you must be quite an authority. Mock me not, sister. Someone in this house must fight the Prince of Evil. He is constantly at us, trying to bring us down to his level. Of course. We can't all withdraw from the battle as you have done. Put that glass down. Unless, of course, dear sister, you care for some yourself. How can you with your husband gone? I've cried until I have no more tears. I've prayed that he will return. Is that how you've prayed? You know it's not. I... It's a tonic for my nerves. I, I'm upset. Who wouldn't be? First my husband and then Jeremiah and Josette disappear. That foreign woman lured him away. How can you say that? Oh, the devil has so blinded you, you'll never see the truth. If the devil has blinded me, Abigail, I consider it curious that he lets you in on all his plans. Of what are you accusing me, sister? Nothing, nothing. Abigail, please. This is one time we should not be fighting. We should try to help each other. I'm sure there is some explanation for why Jeremiah and, Jer and Joseph left this house. Desire. That's why they left. Desire for each other. She loves bombs. And nothing you can say will ever make me doubt that. Good evening, Counts. I am intruding, I know. I. I should let you and your sister share your grief, but I, I suddenly had this fear that, that something else could happen in this house tonight if we did not talk. The devil is here, Countess. Make no mistake. I quite agree with you, Miss Collins. Now, what shall we do about this? Countess, do you honestly think there is anything we can do? I never ask a question without knowing the answer. Tell us. We'll do anything. Well, I'm not so impressed with my own importance or with yours to think that the devil is visiting us personally. No, but he sent one of his minions. Yes, there is a witch in this house. Oh, nonsense. You have ignored my warnings before, Mrs. Collins. Just think of what has happened since. There's not no one here who could do these. Yes, that girl, that, that Victoria Winters. Countess, don't you see what you're causing? My sister-in-law has an inclination to see the forces of evil. Surely you do not think all these happenings have been merely coincidences. I don't know what to think. Well, then simply get rid of your confusion. Settle it by questioning Miss Winters. What would I ask her? About what she knows about the future? Yes, and where she came from, and how she appeared here as she did. She is no more a witch than I am. Are you willing to let another tragedy occur? No, no, I am not. I am afraid 
Mrs. Collins, that you are, if you do not do as we say. Who is it? Abigail Collins. May I come in, please? Just a moment, Miss Collins. Long enough. I was napping. Ah, and is your work all done? Yes, it is, Miss Collins. I see you have the cat in here. He likes to spend quite a bit of time here. Huh, indeed. I don't mind. Don't you? No, I like cats. Yes, I'm sure you do. Of course, I can hardly bear to be in the same room with one, but I guess you know that. No, I didn't. Shall I put him out? No, there's nothing it can damage in here. Mrs. Collins wants to see you. Now? At once. All right. Aren't you coming? No, you go on. Miss Collins, this is my room. Is there anything here that I shouldn't see? Nothing. Well? I have nothing in here. Are you sure? You saw me the night that I came here. I had nothing. Everything in this room has been given to me by someone in this house. Then you shouldn't mind my staying. Well, I do. I'm sorry. Why? I wouldn't stay in your room if you weren't there. Yes, but you don't own this house. We do. We can go in any room we like and stay as long as we wish. Why do you hate me so? Oh, don't try your little girl airs on me. Recognize me as your enemy and tell your master that. I have fought you from the start. That's all I ask of you. I don't understand what you're talking about. You will. Now go. You are keeping Mrs. Collins waiting. Now you can't. Ah. I am not afraid of you. You cannot harm me, and you cannot stop me from doing what I must do. Because I am protected by my faith. What's wrong? Where am I? Why am I in this room? What are you doing here? What is that stench of smoke, Abigail? Josh! Oh. Abigail! Zodiac. Look! A devil! himself. I must send for the Reverend Trask. He is very good at dealing with witches. I will write him tonight. He will come from Salem immediately. Jeremiah, I will never forget this room or this inn. Or you. Oh, do you remember? What? When this mark was the only sign that we belonged to each other. How angry and frightened you were that first day when you saw it. Do you mind if I say that you were frightened? I never mind your telling the truth. Oh, we were both afraid. So afraid that everyone would notice that we shared this mark. Jeremiah, my darling, why did we care? Because we were going to live by the rules. You and I were going to fight what we felt. You were going to marry because 
It had been planned. And instead I married you. <laughs> Which was not planned. Do you regret it? Oh, Jeremiah, no. If the rest of my life could have been as happy as the last few days. Two and a half days since the ceremony. <laughs> you have a bad memory. Hmm? I do not. <laughs> oh, Jeremiah. Will we ever be able to go back? If we want to. What would you do if we didn't? Well, there's a shipyard in every town on the coast. I'd have no trouble. We'll go wherever you'll go on being happy. <laughs> then we'll stay in this room forever. And we'll never leave. And we'll raise a family and we'll grow old. And... All in this room? Yes. But why? Why do you say that? Are you so afraid of what might happen? Are you so frightened of what would happen if we, if we left this room? Yes. But you mustn't be. We'll never be the same anywhere else. But of course we will. We won't be. We can't be. Dearest. Darling, don't try to tell me anything any different. Once we return to our ordinary and daily lives, you'll miss your home and I'll miss mine. We'll make it up to each other. Will we? Will we be able to? Yes. Yes. I promise you. Sleeping, Josette? Father? Why have you treated us this way? I raised you to be honest. Why didn't you come to me? How could you leave without telling me? Oh, Papa, please. We don't understand. You loved Barnabas so much, didn't you? You said you loved me. I did. I did. Barnabas. You didn't, did you? I did. I did. Oh? You love Jeremiah, too. No. No. You ran away. You did not fight yourself, so you chose Jeremiah. Josette? Darling, what is it? We must go back. Go back? To Collinwood. We must return. What has happened? I'm so foolish. So foolish to think that we could stay away and never go back. Darling, I know. I don't know what's upset you, but... I think of my aunt and, and my father. Write to them tonight. Write them. Will a letter make up for what we've done? We fell in love. They'll understand. Oh, Barnum, if only I'd told them before I'd left. We both knew that. We both knew that if we told them, we'd, they'd stop us from, from going. You had as much to do with that decision as I did. You know that. Please don't remind me of that. Well, obviously I must. Oh, darling, stop tormenting yourself. We couldn't help what we did. We didn't even try. But that's not true. I would have left Collinwood if it hadn't been for Joshua's disappearance. You were the reason I was leaving. You know that, Josette. Darling, we've been so happy. Don't touch me. Josette. Please, don't even try to touch me. But you and I are married. <laughs> and now, what has gone wrong? I want to know what happened. Nothing happened. 
You expect me to believe that when one hour ago you were in my arms? Darling, I can't help you if I don't know what's wrong. Please, please stop crying. I hate to see you suffer. Take me back. All right. All right, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, now. We must leave tonight. But that's impossible. The roads are difficult enough by day. Go downstairs and get a carriage. Be sensible. We've got to get out of here as soon as we can. Not without a reason, Josette. I mean it. Now, you change so suddenly, this may be just, just a mood. You'll be over it tomorrow. It isn't a mood. How do you know that? Jeremiah. Think of the unhappiness that we caused. It didn't occur to me before. And tonight I heard voices. Whose voices? My father's and... And Barnabas? And Barnabas. Josette, I regret the unhappiness as much as you do. But will our going back now change it all? We had no right to be happy. But we had, we have. Josette, we love each other. Jeremiah, do you really love me? Yes. Then you will go downstairs and arrange for a carriage. All right, Josette. You have to go back and face what we have done. I can understand that. I can even admire it. But you must never forget that we love each other. Never. It's gone. Look, it's gone. 